it's the season to be jolly but i'm not feeling jolly so this for me is more like just a season i have of course been playing a lot of games recently my time at sandrock the new super mario rpg remake super mario brothers wonder detective pikachu and of course a lot of harvest moon the winds of antos i've been playing all of these games and it's been a season Definitely. I have a lot of mess on my table, I have a lot of things to go through, so in this video I will give you my quick opinion and review on a ton of games, basically all of the games that I've been playing lately. Then I will be unboxing a ton of stuff that's just sitting here waiting to be unboxed. My channel has now reached 100,000 subscribers and I will make another dedicated video about that. Also I'm waiting for my plaque that's coming in the mail, so that's gonna be another video later. But now let's talk about the games. And I can just as well start with Super Mario RPG. I got this from Nintendo Bergsala. It is a remake of the old Super Nintendo game. And I am sure you are either one that has already bought it and played it. Or you're on the fence and like you've listened to the reviews saying that it is a short game. And that it's not worth the $60. I'm gonna be a person that tells you it is something just in the middle of those two opinions. First of all, I think they have done a really good job with remaking this old classic and I remember this classic I have played it all the way through probably three times and I played it on the virtual console on the Wii so of course this game is really nostalgic to me and also it is probably nostalgic to a lot of you guys if you have never played the original I would say this is a really good remake of that game it captures the charm and it has improved the graphics tremendously but they have also made small fun cutscenes that look really sharp and really crisp on the screen and I've said this so many times that a lot of games are struggling on the switch let's be real but first party nintendo titles they just never do they are so perfectly made for what the switch can do and this is such a game also for me it was fun to see all of the old friends again the old party members that i remember fondly bowser is really funny in this story it's an rpg game where you are leveling up you have this overworld map and you are progressing around on this island going from one adventure to another and for every little village and city that you come across there is like a local problem that you have to fix and have to solve and you are essentially trying to figure out what the deal is with the sword that has gone through princess peach's castle so you know bowser is not really a bad guy in this one that's good Bowser actually joins you in your party. Now, I think this is a fun game and I think you would have a wonderful Christmas if this is your Christmas game. I recommend you get this for your friends or family, sons and daughters for Christmas and it will very likely be a success. It is not the longest game, but I would still recommend it because they have simply kept all of the charm and maybe I'm talking from a nostalgic standpoint, but this one is Isha Gaming approved. I was very happy to jump back in into it. I'm not done. I will be playing this more in the holidays. <laughs> the season to be jolly. Look at this Christmas tree. I'm terrible. <laughs> Lord. Okay. The next game that is uh, probably also going to be under a lot of Christmas trees this year that would be super mario brothers wonder now this is a side scrolling 2d mario the original genre that super mario brothers is known for and we have some new power-ups this time around you can be an elephant even princess peach can be an elephant and it is uh, adorable it is adorable. I mean, you can't argue with Elephant. I have only heard good things about this. If 2D side-scrolling Mario games are your thing, this will also be your thing. It is a solid Mario game. I like the overworld map. I have three cats under my table right now. They are having fun. And I think you will also have fun in this game if you like that genre to begin with. I have always said it. I much more prefer 3D Super Mario games over the 2D side-scrolling games. Even having that said, I can say that this is a good one. I mean, Elephant Mario. Also something to give to people for Christmas. Christmassy game. But I like this one more. I mean, you know me by now, I guess. Okay, so 
Another game sent over by Nintendo. We have this one, Detective Pikachu Returns. And I have not heard anyone on my Discord talk about it. I don't think I've seen in my subscription feed on YouTube anyone talk about it in particular. I mean, this one has been sliding through everyone's um, cracks. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you and say that I tried to like it, but I don't like it. I I don't want to be too harsh, but it is not my type of game. I don't know who this game is trying to cater towards. Maybe it is more for children, maybe. And that I am just too old for that, I don't know. I'm just gonna say that it is not hooking me in. So this one I may actually give away as a Christmas gift, maybe to uh, some kids in the family of Ishaman, Ishaman's family. I don't have kids in my family. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Watch another review. This review was terrible. And on that note, Nintendo sent over some merch regarding Detective Pikachu Returns. A notebook, a keychain, a pin. Very good. Oh, and while we're on it, they also sent over a keychain with Super Mario RPG. And the most adorable pins ever. Look at these pins. That's for Super Mario RPG. My Christmas game. I will be playing that a lot in Christmas. I will beat it in Christmas. In At Christmas times. What? and a little standee. This was originally standing on something, but it broke. Uh, I broke that, that was on me, definitely on me, but uh, cute. Also, we have pins from Super Mario Brothers Wonder. You know, a lot of these things has just been sitting down here for like a month. I haven't recorded a YouTube video in a month because I'm not feeling jolly, remember? Now the truth is I haven't been feeling well. Well, first of all, I have been sick. And uh, secondly of all, uh, one of my cats are missing, been missing for a month. And I find that really difficult. Now here is a Detective Pikachu Returns mug. Thank you, Nintendo, for all of the things. Oh, and a tote bag, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Now we are logging into my Nintendo Switch to have a look. And perfectly honest with you guys, I, uh, I'm i replaying Rune Factory 5 again. Started it all over again. Uh, very good. Now let's talk a little bit about Harvest Moon The Winds of Antos. The more I play Harvest Moon The Winds of Antos, the better it gets. And you know, I am so thankful that I listened to one of you guys on Discord and also in my inbox saying that you should give that game more of a chance. Do not put it away. You have to upgrade the barn. You have to open the open world and you just have to get over the rough start of the game. And boy, am I happy that I did because also uh, I bought this game for neighbor Stefan and he's sweaty gaming this game so much. And he has already progressed how far I am into the game. Uh, we are so addicted and it is such a good game. Maybe a little rough around the edges, but once you get into the actual gameplay of such a farming live sim game that it is, it is a really good game. I am having so much fun in the Winds of Antos. There's so many animals that you can tame and collect. There are so many farms that you can actually do farming on. And the world is really big. It's a really good game. <laughs> Highly recommend. Now another game that I recommend, but not on the Switch. My Time at Sandrock. It is a game that you should not play on the Switch because I have the Switch version and I started playing it and I was like, no, <laughs> this is not doing it for me. The performance is terrible. It is blurry. It is stuttering. So stuttering unplayable and enjoyable. It was breaking my immersion all the time. I was trying to be immersed like now I'm in this sandy town and I'm gonna be a builder and help the people and you know try to get my mindset that I am a, this person in Sandrock. But the immersion was so broken because the game was so broken, at least the Switch version. So what ended up happening was that I bought it on PlayStation 5 and now I am remote playing it. So I'm still having the handheld experience of my time at Sandrock, which I will be talking more about in another video, I think, how I'm remote playing my PS5. Anyway, and now I am getting into the actual game. I'm not distracted by the performance anymore. Also, I heard the PC version is really good also. So what I'm trying to say is that this is a game that you can go totally nuts in. I am in one of the crazy fan groups on Facebook. There is a crazy fan group uh, where people are posting all of the crazy stuff that they are doing in my time in Sandrock. At, at Sandrock. 
and mixing up the ads and the ins. And people are posting some ridiculous stuff that they are doing in the game. And I'm just like, I am miles away from that progression. But it is essentially such an addicting game where you are doing crafting, farming and collecting and building, socializing, doing quests, collecting stuff, decorating, all of the wonderful things. <laughs> basically. And my time at Sandrock is also the type of game that is just sucking you in and it gets better the more and more you play. Uh, so good, so good. I still have a lot to do in that game but that is something that I have been playing a lot uh, remote play, PlayStation 5 wise, not on the Switch because the Switch is the Switch. <laughs> How long have I been filming? 18? Wow. Some other games I'm playing, I'm still playing Tower of Fantasy and I know I promised you guys a dedicated video on Tower of Fantasy uh, later. It will happen later. I'm still playing it and I am stuck on a quest and I'm trying to figure out what to do. Maybe I will look up a guide just to progress through that quest that I'm stuck on. You know what I'm saying. It's the common theme of every gamer. And here is my rule. I usually never cheat in video games, like look up guides, uh, but when I have been stuck at one particular place for more than one hour, this is my rules, you know. Uh, <laughs> If I have been stuck for more than one hour at one spot and I'm at the point where I am close to just leaving the game, then I will look up a guide to progress through that spot and then hopefully never cheat again. <laughs> I had to do that in Atelier Sophie too. I was so stuck and then I looked up a guide and then I progressed and then it was all good. <laughs> Relatable, isn't it? I have a few more things. I, I have to unbox these things. Now the Silent Hope developers, they sent me some Silent Hope merch. A t-shirt. There you go. I like the art style. The art style is good. The history was good. And another t-shirt, which is just a blue version of that purple version. Thank you. Now lastly, some gifts from Epic Games, because they were happy that I worked with them recently uh, with the Alan Wake stuff. Wait, they sent me some stuff. Monsters wear many faces. I actually wear caps all the time. Pretty cute. You know what? <clears throat> This is kind of funny and this is a secret. I hope Isherman doesn't watch this video. But you know, oftentimes I put clothes like this in his closet and he ends up wearing them every single time. So I will put this in his closet. He never knows what he's wearing. He's just like, that will do. <laughs> Man. A crew neck. Oh, it's the thick kind of crew neck. I like that, actually. Alan Wake 2 crew neck. Thick. That one is not going in Isherman's closet. It's another one of those thermoses, and we have a mask, Alan Wake 2 mask, creepy, a necklace I think, good, I think this is a raincoat, and do not open this, you did it, you linked all of the murders, good, thank you Epic Games, that was fun, good stuff, now my table is definitely a mess. <laughs> Now, thank you so much for watching this uh, update video and uh, played lately, basically. And if you are planning on picking up some Nintendo titles digitally, I would love it if you bought your eShop cards from my store. And I have a discount code now out December, which is eShop5, gives you a discount on everything on my store, eShagaming.com. I would appreciate it if you use this for all of your holiday purchases. Affiliate link down below. Now, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you later.